Here are my six performance checks you need to test to ensure large spikes in traffic doesn't bring down your site or application and avoid Black Friday horror stories of sites crashing, cots being abandoned, and customers disappearing into thin air. And it's not just about Black Friday. Netflix recently faced significant streaming challenges during the Mike Tyson, Jake Paul fight, impacting many users worldwide, which led to a widespread user dissatisfaction with over 88,000 complaints being lodged and social media platforms were flooded with negative feedback, which could impact Netflix's brand, but also revenue. To avoid these performance issues, let's dive into the six checks you need. Check one, prepare early. Companies like eBay and Walmart know that getting ready for peak days starts well ahead of time. So early load assessments will let them understand how much traffic their systems can handle and identify weak points. For example, I've talked to many experts in the field and they tell me that conducting these load tests months in advance can help your company boost performance by up to 50% before holiday traffic even hits. But this is not just a theory. Here's an actual testimonial I found on a company, Digital River, where they said they had a record-breaking holiday season because they used an enterprise tool called RadView Webload. They used it to prepare all year long to examine the performance of their SaaS platform and conducted a focused effort on iterating load testing with development groups to maximize their system performance. And with Thanksgiving came, there were no issues. It was happily uneventful, even with the site as large as the Microsoft Store. Number two, run load tests that simulate actual user behavior. Effective load testing is more than just throwing a high volume of virtual users at your site to see if it holds up. And this is where I often see newbies getting into trouble. They acquire a tool and then proceed to unleash a huge, unrealistic, massive load without considering genuine usage patterns. This approach doesn't account for how many users interact with different parts of the site, how many true transactions per seconds occur, or how usage varies over time. Instead, think of load testing as a way to understand your system's behavior under actual conditions. When tests aren't realistic, it could lead to unnecessary site crashes and internal panic. And to be honest, for most applications I've worked on, I've only been able to get this type of realistic user scenario features from an enterprise performance testing tool, not open source. Third is optimized front-end experience, especially for mobile users. Do you know that nearly 70% of holiday shopping is done on mobile? And this stat alone underlines why front-end optimization is absolutely critical. Milliseconds of delay can mean the difference between a sale and an abandoned cart. And some things you could do is to optimize for speed. Start with the basics, compressing images, caching assets, and preloading resources. These quick wins can significantly reduce load times without needing major code changes. Also, some advanced load testing tools now offer front-end monitoring options, which are invaluable for maintaining performance across devices, especially mobile. These tools allow you to track a ton of real-time metrics. And with these insights, you can pinpoint areas where delays or bottlenecks occur and address them proactively. Number four is preparing for the unexpected with a contingency plan. The holiday season often brings a surge in traffic along with its fair share of surprises. But having a solid contingency plan can be a game changer to ensure that unexpected issues don't derail your user's experience. So make sure to think about scenarios where critical components of your site might slow down or go offline and how would that impact your user. A well thought out contingency plan might include quick rollbacks, backup servers, and failover mechanisms to maintain service continuity. Number five is monitoring real-time interactions to catch issues quickly. Real-time monitoring is essential for maintaining a seamless user experience. So imagine you're observing a sudden slowdown on a high traffic page. With real-time monitoring, you can detect these performance drops immediately, diagnose the cause, and deploy a fix all before your user begins to abandon the page. To start, there are a bunch of free options like Google Analytics and server logs that can give you the basic understanding of user behavior and potential problem areas. However, for large-scale enterprise-wide testing, a more robust performance monitoring tool is essential and make it so much easier to debug performance issues. And number six is view and define with a post-mortem. When the peak season wraps up, don't just move on. Take time to conduct a thorough post-mortem review. This step is crucial not only for events like Black Friday, but for any major traffic event or high-stakes project. A structured post-mortem gives you a clear view of what worked 
and more importantly, what didn't and where there's room to improve next time. All right, so with these six checks, you'll be better prepared for Black Friday or any other spiky time of year for your application. But as I mentioned, it's crucial to have the correct performance tool to help. One tool I recommend is Webload, which is an enterprise tool that can help you with all your performance testing challenges. For those that are interested in a robust performance tool, I highly recommend you check it out for yourself using the free 30-day trial and 10% discount I was able to get from my Test Guild viewers. And you can find it all down below. Check it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe. And as always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.